Anyways, welcome everybody to another Shovel Knight stream. So, tonight, there's one of two things that I think we should do. We could either do Plague Knight New Game Plus, or we could do Shovel Knight Speedrun. And at this point, I kind of lean more on the side of Shovel Knight Speedrun, because I still have his story a little fresh in my head from when we did New Game Plus. But if people really, really want to see Plague of Shadows New Game Plus, I will do that. I know we already have one vote for that, but... If people have a very strong preference towards wanting new Plague of Shadows New Game Plus, I will do that. Okay, we got one vote for fast. Alright, <laughs> that might be all that we need. <laughs> You vote for the- Okay, we're doing the speedrun then! <laughs> it is fitting, because we just finished Sonic Heroes, so we gotta keep up the, the trend of going fast. Alright. So for Shovel Knight's feats, I wonder if we could get them all. Because we only- So, finish the game without dying. Finish the game without spending any money. Finish the game without falling into a bottom- Yeah, destroy every possible checkpoint. Um... Okay. This is probably going to be a bad idea. I'm going to try to get all of those feats in one run. It will probably be very, very, very annoying, but we might be able to do it. Because a lot of these can be combined. Like, obviously, we don't want to die in a speed run anyways. So if we can avoid doing that, we can also get all of the checkpoints. And we, if we avoid buying the relics, that'll also means we don't have to spend extra time going out of our way for those, so I think that's what I'm going to try to do. But this could end very badly. At the very least, if we don't get the speedrun, we'll get the other achievements. Alright, here we go. Shovel of Hope. Yeah! And this is going to be... Speed. I am speed. Body swap! Ooh! I don't think it... I didn't try it. Why not? Um, I don't understand what... So that's male, that's female, but why are there two different symbols here? We could do random, maybe? I'm very... I'm confused. I... I don't really know, but... Okay, here we go. Let's... Let's just... Let's just go! Shovel of Hope speedrun, here we come. I think we swapped the gender of everybody, but we'll see. I think that's a different... I think that's female Shovel Knight. They look almost exactly the same, but... Alright, let's see if we can go fast, and guess what? <laughs> it says beat it in a, in a, within an hour and a half. And that's usually the length of my streams, so we should be able to time it. Unless, of course, we have to save and quit in order to avoid dying, which will happen, almost certainly. Otherwise, gotta go fast. We cannot break the checkpoints on this level. They are indestructible. So don't go panicking like, oh, Arty, you missed a checkpoint. The ones on the first and last level do not have to be broken. Thank you for moving out of the way. Okay, off to a great start. Oop! Speed run! Alright, not super optimal on the first stage, but so far so good, I guess. At the very least, we're probably not going to die on the first stage unless the Black Knight is particularly annoying. Or if I get really careless. Which, given it's a speedrun, could very well happen. 
Also, not having the phase locket is going to be tough for the no-death thing. It also can help us take shortcuts. Oh, well. I chose to do this. And the nice thing is, if we end up dying, we can just quit to the main menu and it will not save that we died. I think we lose a tiny bit of time. But it's not a major amount of time, so... There is a safe... There is still the safe scumming safety net. Oh, but we don't get to see the dialogue changes as a result of the uh, body swap. <laughs> is that supposed to also be female Black Knight? Booyah! Bye-bye! Like, the armor is slightly different in body swap mode, but not much. It is interesting, though. It's just a shame. If, if, only, if only reading the text didn't take time away from the speedrun. Because if it didn't, then I would absolutely have activated butt mode as well. Where certain words get replaced with the word butt. It is very childish, but also funny. Get digging. Ah, yuck, 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 yuck. I also gotta remember to get the meal tickets. I actually couldn't rem I actually didn't see if there was a meal ticket at that first campfire. But the meal tickets actually could be helpful to have, so... Uh-oh. Well, so far, so good. No deaths yet, but that can change very quickly. Thankfully, we don't die as easily as we did on New Game Plus, so... It actually might be less dangerous. Although this also means we don't get the uh, the Trouple Chalices, and therefore no high cores. We also have to make sure we... Was that the first checkpoint, folks? I guess if it wasn't the first checkpoint, I can always go back at the end and break the first one. I think that was the first checkpoint. We gotta break them all. Yeah, I also wasn't paying attention. I was just going on muscle memory. I guess breaking the checkpoints takes a tiny bit of time, but hopefully it's not a huge deal. Man, they put the checkpoints, like, right next to each other. I know it's King Knight stage, but still. No, it, I guess it, nobody was really... Pay it makes sense. Because that's something I guess we all kind of forgot about. It's fine, it's not a big deal. That one's not, like, a time limit one. We can always go back after we finish the game and destroy the checkpoint when we come back. Oh, no. <laughs> that was close. We almost had our first death of the run. Hey, Mobius! What's up? Just in time for Shovel Knight, Speedrun, and Deathless. And also, everybody's the wrong... Oh my gosh, it's Queen Knight! <laughs> Okay, that, that's great. They even changed the name. Bye! <laughs> oh, that's 
fantastic. Oh, it's it's going well. It's a good start to the week. Who would have thought that feeling sore could actually feel good? Oh, I just realized we can go backwards, can't we? That's slightly quicker. I also hope we get lucky with the random enemy spawns. Alright, time for Spectre Knight. Ba -da -da -da! The frogs are just chilling. If they're not bothering me, I will not bother them. Unless it's faster for me to bother. That is the first checkpoint. Hey, I just... I, I'm just a friendly Shovel Knight. I just want to pass. Okay, this is going to be faster to bother the frog. Oh, yuck. I don't like this room. Oh, shoot, that was a bomb! I hate it when my mom gives me bombs for dinner. Okay, we actually gotta watch out, because we are running low on HP. That's why I'm looking out for dinner plates. Okay, now we really gotta watch out. Please, please, give me a Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, I don't like that Electro Frog down there. I really don't like that Electro Frog. I really don't like that Electro Frog! Yeah, I knew that would happen. When that happens, you gotta return to the title screen. Speed. Okay, yeah, every time we do that, we waste a little time because the guys will walk around on the map. But all the time we spend in here on our first attempt does not save. However, this also means if we keep saves coming, then this might turn into a long stream. Because even though the in-game timer will say an hour and a half, it'll be longer in real time. I was as nice to the Electro Frogs as I could be. Also, I didn't realize Spectre Knight has, like, no food in his graveyard. Ho ho! You gotta admit, this is cool! Okay, well now that I know that's not a Thanksgiving turkey... It's almost like dead people can't eat. Preposterous. Oh, nope! That was so... I, I, I've done that before, and I know that doesn't work. Why did I do that? Guess I thought I was low enough down. Nope, not return to the map. Return to the map actually, I think, would screw us over if we did that. Yeah, we might be here for a while. Hope not, but we might be. The sad thing is this isn't even one of the trickier stages. Okay, that's rude. I did not do anything to you, Electro Frog. Uh, 
That's the way the pogo go goes. And you cannot pogo off that guy without taking damage. Okay, let's see if we can do this faint again. Oh, that's great! That lines up perfectly. That's amazing. I can, I can see Shovel Knight being a decently fun game to speedrun if you got really into it. Of course, I don't have the patience or the time to get really good at speedrunning anything. Not even Cuphead, which I enjoy, but I'm not even close to being one of the best. Oh. Man, there's not a whole lot of fast ways to get for this stage safely. <laughs> First cycle, alright. Okay, we have a little bit more HP here now. Okay, that frog down there is not electric this time around. Cool, didn't even have to mess with him. And you know what? I actually will go out of my way to eat that turkey. Oh, man. I get scared on this stage, but not because it's spooky. <laughs> Also, we still will have to deal with Spectre Knight himself. Or, I'm sorry, herself. I remember when the. But this is before Spectre Knight got his own campaign. I was kind of wondering, I'm like, I wonder. <laughs> I was wondering what they were going to do with it, and I'm like, I wonder if, like, Spectre Knight was a girl, and, like, the long-lost lover of Polar Knight. That did not turn out to be the case. Oh, dang, Spectre Knight! <laughs> Looking good. So I, I don't really have any ways of doing this fight quickly and safely. I think I'd rather do the fight safely, though. Darn it. Ugh. There we go! Okay, you know what? That was decently fast for Spectre Knight, considering I had no relics. Oh, I wonder, I wonder how much money I'll have at the end of the campaign, since I'm not allowed to lose any or spend any. Oh, okay. For these dream sequences, when we have to save Shield Knight, it's actually fastest to die. It's faster to die in these dreams than it is to actually wait him out. Welcome to the stream, Toy Collector. Season 5 should be starting up in hopefully a couple of weeks. For the first dream, it's not much faster to die, but the later dreams become fa better and better. No, I was unable to save you. Oh, Shield Knight's a dude now, with like a Popeye arm. I actually will pick up the meal ticket. Because getting that extra HP will help for the end uh, game. I'm not going to get it right now, though. All right. Hey, Plague Knight. It's shoveling time. Oh, man. <laughs> Body swap Plague Knight will be interesting. I wonder what Body swap Mona would look like as well. It would turn the love story on its head. Man, 
bombs have such a big explosion radius. Yeah, better to just wait for that next platform. Oh shoot, that was a dinner plate that I probably should have grabbed. Oh well. Okay, gotta be patient here. Be patient. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, still got hit, but I ate a turkey, so it all turned. Wow, that dealt a full point of damage? That seems a little steep. Okay, we really gotta watch out. Oh, no! No! Doggone it! Eesh! Musical toys? I think the only musical toys I remember having were kind of annoying. And most of them belonged to my sister. Why does the guy have to move when we can't even see him on screen? Ba -da -da -da. Okay, I forgot. Explosions deal more damage. This level seems to be like, do you want to go fast or safe? You can't do both. It's like, do you want to take the damage through the explodey rats, or do you want to close, slowly clear them out? Like, can I quickly clear them out and do it safely? Nope. I guess that makes sense, but... At least we can enjoy the good Explodatorium music. Yikes! You know, some of these dirt piles might actually... Wow! I can't believe that tiny little purple potion does a full point of damage. Oh, are you blind? If so, that is impressive that you can... type out on the keyboard. I also don't know anything about them being blind, so I don't know. I was about, <laughs> I was about to be like, but how the how do you know what I'm saying? But okay. Oh shoot! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was way too close, that was way too close. Oh, jeez! I took it so risky there just to try to shave a couple of seconds off. I should not be doing that. There are many things I should not be doing, but still choose to. That's why I'm starting up the exercise machine! Yikes, Plague Knight stages! A lot more chaotic than I remember. <laughs> that is really precise for stage three. <laughs> okay, well, well, okay. It's not super. It's a sp okay. I'm not looking to get Shovel Knight world record. I'm just looking to beat the in-game 
speedrun time. Which I guess I have stacked the deck against myself, since I do not get any relics, or spend any money at all. I'm honestly worried for the Plague Knight fight, because Plague Knight is very difficult. Probably the most difficult member of the Order of No Quarter. I don't like that. Okay! We got for the room. And we have full HP for the Plague Knight fight. Alright, cool. Oh boy, female Plague Knight. What's this going to be like? <laughs> I feel like that looks more like a male Plague Knight. It's got like a top hat. Oh no, it's a witch's hat. I'm, I'm stupid. Night. Uh, yay. Oh, this is bad. Uh, I gotta be real careful. Oh, oh my gosh! No! Now we have to do the Explodatorium all over again. Oh my gosh, I couldn't get a hit in! He kept running away and chucking stuff at me whenever I tried to get closer. Oh, yuck. We can't even get more armor, because we're not allowed to spend any money. Yep! It's gonna be tough! Also, I have a feeling this stream's gonna go very much over time. I still took freaking damage. And I took even more damage than before because it was the freaking explosion. I don't remember using the Pogo Go Go. And then there's just stuff like that where it feels like there's no way out. Ugh. Okay, there is a dinner plate in here that we're gonna grab. Definitely worth it, because the next part is tricky. Also, it is saying that I'm pogoing when I swear I'm not pushing the inputs to pogo. I feel like every D-pad eventually it's like, oh, you pushed right, you actually pushed down. At least we kind of know what risks we can and cannot take. I feel like it's riskier to grab that turkey than to just go off of one health. But it was actually safer to go that way. I wish there was a dinner plate here. Okay, we gotta be careful against this guy then. I immediately do the riskiest move. But what? That killed me? The potions deal a full point of damage? I don't even know why I'm surprised anymore. Oh yeah, this is... <sighs> Honestly, at the rate we're going, we might have to break this up into multiple streams. Oh my gosh. I... The Plague Knight, I think, looks more like a dude in the, the gender swap. Literally looks like the quintessential, like, 1920s 
1910s British general. He, he looked Mr. Banks. It's like the Mr. Banks outfit. It's 1910. King Edward's on the throne. It's the age of men. Mr. Banks, one of my favorite characters. He knew what was up. Could have gone a lot worse. All right, full HP going in here. I wish, I wish, I wish it wasn't like everything on this level dealt a full point of damage when I only have four points. It's a lot. <laughs> okay, that guy doesn't. But he's also like the Plague Knight Mook. Okay, this time, we're not gonna do the jump slashes right away. Okay, nope. No jump slashes. We're doing the pogos, much safer. That n what? I was definitely high enough to get the pogo off. Did it not register my pogo? We're gonna spend the entire stream just trying to beat Explodatorium. I also get the feeling that this is not going to be... I get the feeling that this is not going to end up being within the speedrun time limit just because of how many times we have to watch that stupid guy move across the screen slowly. I also feel like I'm getting worse at the Explodatorium stage and not better. How in the world did that potion hit me? So every time we reset, we have to destroy the checkpoints again, which adds to our... T okay. That's ridiculous. So I have a feeling all of the small things we keep having to do are going to prove to be our downfall. And we're going to just miss the hour and a half time. Yeah, the Humongous Entertainment games are visually pretty, but also they have really good music, so... I'm glad you can at least appreciate that! It also must be interesting hearing me react to stuff, but you can't see. Yeah, this is this is an intense stage. Ouch! Purple potions. Oh that was that was very close. Pretty good. Okay, that was a little on the slow side, but that part was still pretty alright. Cool. Now we can afford to lose two points of HP on this guy, alright. Okay, okay. I have no idea how on my first attempt at this guy I was able to damage boost through him so many. Okay. 
thank goodness he was on the last point. What do you mean I didn't get a Thanksgiving turkey for beating him? I desperately need one! I'm gonna die as soon- Oh, thank goodness. Okay, as long as we aren't stupid. Please be a turkey. That's just an apple. Okay, well, the apple refills most of our HP. We can work with this. Oh, no. No! That was so... Ugh! We have to do the freaking stage again! Why? I was about to be- that was the right profile I selected, not the New Game Plus one. I shudder to think what my in-game time already is. How? How does that potion consistently hit me when I jump around it? I also... I never inputted the shovel pogo there, and it did it automatically for me. Alright, we're missing two points of HP. We'll skip the turkey for now, but that might prove to be a bad idea. Okay, that was a pretty clean room. That was good. Ouch. Thank goodness those weren't the insta-death spikes. I was afraid that shovel pogo wasn't gonna work. Alright. Just gotta be very, very careful in this room. Oh my gosh, that was so good! In a situation like that, there was nothing I could have done to avoid damage. There was an explosion in every Are you for real? Oh my god. I swear this stage is perfectly designed to be anti-speedrun. Like, you can't go fast without just taking copious damage. And I only have four health. Part of me is thinking I should just go to the village and get the meal ticket, even though it would take like 30 seconds to do. If I had just taken... Honestly, if I had just gotten the meal ticket, I wouldn't be here. Because I would have been able to beat uh, Plague Knight with an extra point of health. Well, I hope you guys really like this music. I do, but I'm starting to get sick of it. Ow! Come off it! I'm starting to think the bird enemies are the worst. No, they're not. The guys that can just blow you off a cliff for no reason are still the worst. <laughs> That's probably the way to do it. Get your own mixtape going, instead of listening to the dreary explodatorium music. Okay, that was really fast. That was great. Okay. Not gonna pogo that, because then I end up in the no-win situation. I'm gonna wait for that stupid bot to get out of- Wow, that bot just got right in my way. Had to kill him. I killed the bird! Hooray! Would have really liked an extra half a point of health here, but oh well. Hi, wizard. Oh, great. Fun fact, this mini-boss here has more... 
That miniboss there has more health than any other boss in the entire game. Oh, that's a good pun. <laughs> that's like one of the puns I would expect Croker to, or Toter to tell. Oh, gone it. No, that wizard that turns into the Yeti literally has more HP than any single boss in the entire game. Assuming you're not counting bosses that have multiple forms, like the Battle Toads. Or Kratos. I'll just take the hit, whatever. I feel like we've already lost five minutes of time on this level. In terms of the in-game clock, obviously it's been a lot more from a real-life perspective. make that jump without needing to wait. Good to know. Okay, whatever. 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 <laughs> hey, Nobu, uh, I don't know why this is in your recommended. You'd think they would recommend good streamers. I am glad you're here regardless, though. Okay, my main goal, I want to get for this room taking as little damage as possible, even if I have to do it a little bit more slowly. Oh, whatever. Whatever! I took half a point of damage, that's fine. Oh, no, you don't. You think you can deal an extra point in No, you don't! Alright. Wizard battle, like, 18. On. Okay. Things get dire. There we go. Please give me a turkey. Thank you. All right. Got to remember the green armor guy. Right up here. No! What? How did he knock me off a cliff? I was holding left with all of my might. Oh, I doggone it. I just want to be done with this stage. It's normally my favorite stage, but I've been on it for literally half the stream. At this rate, it's going to be like, well, we finished the Explodatorium in the speed run. And we spent an hour and a half of the speed run on one stage. I did not expect this stage to be the one that would kill me over and over again. <laughs> Sentence structure. No, I've never eaten a monkey either. Not this week, anyways. Darn it. <laughs> if I hadn't gotten hit by the potion there, that would have been a perfect room. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. I don't know how the, like, pros can be like, Oh, I hit this, but I damage boosted the opposite way, because I turned at the last frame. All these frame-perfect inputs. Please, let this be the last time I enter the Explodatorium as Shovel Knight. I'm st I'm still kind of upset that I was so close to defeating Plague Knight, but just the heavens continually aligned in the wrong way.
rat r uh, no, 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 you don't. Yeah, neither did I. I thought the I thought I would die maybe once on the explodatorium, not like 20 times. I couldn't do anything. They my shovels weren't hitting them. Oh my gosh, why? This isn't even entertaining to watch. I think we've literally been here for over a half hour now. Yeah, we're, we are not completing the speedrun this stream. We're not. I don't care if every single other level goes perfectly. We are not finishing the, the speedrun this stream. Because this is literally level 3. And we're already running out of time. Oh my gosh, how did we pogo that high? I didn't say pogo! I am not pushing the down. And yet it's like pogo it is to destroy all the dirt. Destroy all of your dirt. Oh my gosh! Be gone for me, Robo Rabbit. I do not think that should have hit me, no. This is just safer. Let's just do it this way. Slower but safer, and at this point, safer is just going to be faster anyways. Oh, come on! How did he hit me? He wouldn't move! And by that, I mean Shovel Knight would not move. I know I was swinging the shovel, but I was spacing it at such a point that he should have at least scooted a little bit. I don't... I don't get... Ugh. What's... what's really happening is I keep losing, which gets me more frustrated, which means I make more dumb mistakes, which means I get more frustrated and make more dumb mistakes. Although my controller auto-pogoing for me is not helping matters. Also, I re it really does feel like Explodatorium was built to be anti-speedrun. Oh my gosh, did that bird just run into a platform and disintegrate? That was great. Artie doesn't want hugs. Artie just wants to beat the level. I wish I knew how I could do that one consistently. Because <laughs> that was really great, what just happened. <laughs> Well, to be fair, this is a fairly hard video game, and I'm doing a challenge trying to beat it quickly and without death. Neither of which is... All of the achievements I'm going for are probably not supposed to be done in the same run, but I chose to do it anyways just because... If I do this, I can just finish up Shovel Knight's campaign outside of his last two challenges. Great. Bots at least move slowly. I can use that to my advantage. Ow. 
I think what's gonna happen is I'll get to Plague Knight again and die again, because I haven't gotten, like, any practice fighting Plague Knight. There we go! See, that wizard fight went great! Now let's see if we can get through this part. Okay, there. That part went great. Okay, that part also went great. Okay, okay, cool. So the next part of the stage is honestly pretty easy. Oh, uh, hey, if you don't run down the ladder like a little goon. Even the Shovel Knight clones deal a full point of damage? Wow. Uh, no! <laughs> thank you, thank you for not dumping me off a cliff. Are you serious? How did little wimpy McDunkle throw a bag at my head and it knocked me all the way off a cliff? I do not agree with that at all. That's supposed to deal minimal knockback and it just like rocketed me off a cliff. Mario sound? I don't think so. Unless those are the sound alerts on my uh, stream's end. But I don't think anyone has played any of those. I guess it's possible. Oh, dude! Oh, I wonder if that's a consistent way to get through the room. If so, that's exactly what I'm doing from now on. I am finding some cool strats. Which, like, hooray for small things. Remember, it's the simple things in life sometimes. jump and hit his bag back at him. That's how you do the arty. Okay. How come that explosion was smaller than the other rat explosions? Okay, that was a really good bird uh, bot room. A birdie bot. That's the birdie bot's room. But not the birdie bots you're thinking of. Okay. Wizard round 200. How did that... How? Hitbox on this guy must be kind of wonky. Please give me a turkey. You didn't give me a turkey, bro. At least there's a turkey in the next room. Also, Simpson, you, you do realize that Toy Collector can't read the chat. I'm assuming. Unless you found a way to make the chat do text-to-voice. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's a good setup for that room. A little slow, but that's fine.
Boop. Okay. Don't get greedy in this room. It's okay if you're a little slow. Even though it's a speed run. It's not really a speed run at this point. It's a safe scum to get a low in-game time. We are not the same. Cool, you hit me one time. Alright. This is the last room before we get our final checkpoint, so let's hope nothing goes awry. I did not say to pull there! Game literally tried to kill me. And it wasn't even the enemies who were trying to kill me. It was literally just the game controls not working properly. Oh, never mind! Okay, my bad. I didn't know that there were apps that could do that, but that's cool! Okay, okay, we finally have reached Plague Knight again. Alright, already off to a kind of bad start with the Pogo not working as intended. Okay. Can you please just stay in the corner and let me Pogo on your head? Always forget about the fireballs. Oh, doggone it! Plague Knight just continually wants to corner us. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this is really bad. Plague Knight keeps throwing the bombs right on top of us! Dog freaking gone it! There was just consistently always bombs wherever I was trying to go. You know what? Forget this. I am getting the health increase. And wait, do, hang on. Does this count as an upgrade? Okay, it's no, it's just it just says relics. This is not a relic. This is a meal. I also shudder to think what my in-game timer is already at. All right, we at least now have five points of health, not four. Because I am not going through this whole stage again just to die to Plague Knight again. I am getting so sick of this stage. I'm not getting sick. I am sick of this stage. Once again, was not holding down for, like, any of that. Is this just a thing in controllers that have D-pads that, like, if you hold right, it'll eventually just be like, you held down? Because I noticed this with my GameCube controller D-pad as well, but I thought that was just the GameCube controller had a bad D-pad, which it does, to, to be fair. But this is a 360 controller. Oh, dude, that's totally the strat to get through that room. That's awesome. I'm finding all of the optimal strats without even consulting the speedrunning community. I guess that part's kind of cool. didn't pogo the bird for reasons. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Why did the bird spawn there? I was outside of the range where the bird should have spawned. Great. Now, even though I got the health extension, I'm at two health for the wizard fight. Correct. 
Thanks for the jerky. Take a sip of water every time the game forces me to pogo when I did not input the pogo button. Don't actually do that. You will drown. I should go over to keyboard controls. How did that guy not die to my shovel? Okay. We're doing well, though. And unless we get knocked off a of bottomless pit again, we should make it to Plague Knight. Also, is, is Shovel Goo faster than Shovel Might? It looked like they were running faster than I could. Oh, yeah. Does that guy always throw a potion at just the wrong time? Oh, you got no! Okay, now just get through this room. There's a turkey in this room. Okay. Plague Knight with five health. We can do this. I swear Plague Knight, though, it can just do patterns where you can't hit, I guess, her. Especially with the Tracer Powder. Okay, that was... So, so far, this fight's going... Okay. We had a bit of a rough start, but it's going a lot better this time. I was really hoping I could bounce on her head there, but I guess not. Yes! Oh man, and I did it with two health remaining, so I technically didn't even need the meal ticket. I... I shudder to think what my in-game timer is like, though. It's probably real bad. Congratulations. Well, no, I'll have to go to the Explodatorium again. Just not a Shovel Knight. Alright, time for the Iron Whale. Oh, I'm so happy to hear different music. Also, this level's going to be hard. I'm already... I'm not looking forward to the anglerfish. Although I think the extra health will help in this regard as well. And here we go. We at least beat the hardest boss. None of the bo none of the other bosses should be as difficult as Plague Knight. Should be in the keyword. As we all know, I can have some cruddy luck in video games. Yes, poor... Well, no, because... Oh, shoot, I don't have full HP for the Anglerfish. Propeller Knight insta-death I'm more worried about than Polar Knight, because Polar Knight, I, it's at least consistent when it happens.
Anglerfish have got to be some of the creepiest looking creatures that actually live in the real world. Just gotta say. That was a tight jump. I almost didn't make that. That would have been dumb if I hadn't. Ugh. Okay, we're through some of the trickier parts of the stage, though. The anglerfish is probably the most dangerous part, so... I'm not gonna say we can rest easy, but we can breathe a small sigh of relief and have a brief respite. Or respite, however you pronounce it. Do you guys say respite or respite? And is one of them technically correct, or is it kind of like a, oh, it depends on if you're... what region you're from. Okay, can you actually hit that low enough so that you end? Every time I've shot that missile, it's been like, oh, you, uh, went too low. No, what? I got stuck under the freaking anchor! Respit. <laughs> what does it say? Oh! Guys, our timer is only at 18 minutes, 59 seconds. So, as, at least as far as the game is concerned, we are killing it on the speedrun. Okay, that is not where I expected the death to happen, but... I think at this point we gotta count on a death at pretty much every stage. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, Mr. Clanky doesn't get his own theme song. Also, folks... Oh, that's what, right. If we do Season 5, I may end up hacking the game so that I can give Mr. Clanky to one of the opponent opposing teams. But I'll have to consult with the Backyard Baseball Discord first. But that's something I should do. I, ha I have a plan. I don't think it'll happen this season, but maybe next season I might go kind of crazy with the hacking. And make some truly top-tier backyard baseball content, hopefully. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Oh, you better believe Battle of the Delecchios is going to happen. One way or another. Unfortunately, we can't skip the Anglerfish part again. Because, as far as the game is concerned, we have never faced him before. I also definitely like my odds more if I have... Angela in the Battle of the Del Vecchios rather than Tony. Because darn it, Tony and all that. So, this anglerfish has eaten a copious amount of living fish. Angela's pretty great. Pete Wheeler is still my favorite. At least in terms of uh, performance. In terms of personality, it's definitely got to be Jorge Garcia. Just because I really like doing the Jorge voice. Plus, he has a lot of personality. I have a feeling that people are going to be like, Ricky Johnson! Even though he's garbage. Probably because he's garbage. <laughs> Nobody wants to pick the good characters. Bye-bye! Oh, you can do it when it's low enough!
that's annoying that I have to go out of my way to break that checkpoint, but oh well. This guy's gonna be a pain in the butt. Oh wait, no, 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 come on, why did it not let me get across? That was like one pixel off, are you kidding me? Gosh, gosh darn it, carry. <laughs> Had to do the little dance, even though that might cost me the speedrun. Oh yeah, the Delvecchio's Brooklyn accents are great. I love, I love the kids' dialogue in that game, where if you, like, talk to them in the baseball cards, <laughs> there's even, like, continuity. Where, like, if you, <laughs> if you talk to Kimmy Ekman, she'll be like, one time my mom gave me this pony doll for my birthday, as if I'm supposed to like that kind of stuff. So, like, I just, like, used it for pitching practice and beat it up a bunch. And then if you talk to Maria Luna, she's like, I like collecting pony dolls. I found a really beaten up one near Kimmy's house once. <laughs> It's great. As I mentioned before, we're not finishing the speedrun this stream. It's not happening. The bigger question will be, will we actually get the whole run done within multiple streams within that, uh in-game time limit. Ay -ay 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 -ay. It's not even a doubt, it is a certainty it will not happen. Creepy as it looks, the anglerfish has really good graphics considering it's 8-bit. <laughs> oh no 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 no! You're not cheesing me out of this. Ha! Alright, let's see if we can get past the anchor room. <laughs> let's see if we can get past Anchor Watt. That's what I'm calling that room of all of the anchors. Anchor WHAT?! You expect us to get through that?! NEVER FAILS! Every time I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try to climb up the ladder really quickly, it's like, oh, missiles fire immediately, but then when I actually wait for the missiles, they don't fire. Right, yeah, you can stab me, whatever. I'll just damage boost for you anyways. Well, there are also people who win the lottery. It doesn't mean it's likely going to happen, though. I low-key think you might have a higher chance of winning the real-world lottery than of Ricky Johnson getting a home run. On his own merit, at least. Actually, I don't think there's another dinner plate before the boss, so we should grab it. Even though Treasure Knight's pretty simple. I believe Ricky Johnson home run might be the hardest home run to get. That or Vicky Kawaguchi. Oh my- Whoa! Treasure Knight looks totally different as a girl. 
She lost some weight. Bye-bye! <laughs> yeah, way easier than Plague Knight. Boom! Ooh! Anchor in the face. Hooray! Don't just leave the fire going, bro! Alright, and now we get the Baz appearing, right? Oh, no! Time for the Lost City hole! <laughs> nope, not making that joke. Home of Government Mole Knight. Oh, no! Well, that didn't last long! Goodness me! Alright. Just shy of a half hour of in-game time. I made it anyways. It was Government Mole Knight, but I guess it's like, eh, nah. <laughs> that's not like a bad joke. Maybe a little dumb, but whatever. Not that kind of mole. Really? That hit me? Oh, great. Get out of my way, birder! Birder? I hardly know you. A lot of these rooms you really can't speed up in Mole Knight stage. Unless you, like, heavily abuse certain relics, like the Propeller Dagger. Turkey? No turkey. Great. Wait, no, that has a mole inside, not a carrot. Well, thanks for the damage boost. That was actually very nice of you. No, 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 no! Why couldn't you have damage boosted me one pixel farther? Alright. We're gonna beat Mole Knight stage and then we are going to call it a stream because wowie, wowie, wowie did the Explodatorium take an eternity and a half. That first second sequence of rooms went pretty well. Here we go. Aha! <laughs> I knew what to expect that time. I hate how you can't pogo the uh, fire guys. The fire bots, or whatever they are. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea.
Oh no! I. That was a time where the the auto pogo screwed me up. I did not press down. Truly, I did not press down on my D-pad, and it pokoed for me, and it completely screwed me up. Breeze is just running away, which, that's fine. Until I want to turn in my ever meal tickets. Out of my way. I'm waiting for it to just automatically stay down when I'm not even touching the D-pad at all. Once again, this is going to be one of those stages where if we can just reach the boss, psh, piece of cake. For being such big guys, those guys do not have very much HP, which I am okay with. I feel like going forward, anytime I'm above, like, breakable platforms, I need to just swing my shovel before I land, just in case the game decides to auto-pogo for me. Of course, that's going to be not a viable option once the goo blocks come into play. Alright, this time, let's not fail. Bot had to jump at the wrong time, whatever. It's just a treasure chest, not a actual dinner point. I'd rather have dinner than money. I'd rather have dinner than treasure. Okay. Oh, jeez! I forgot that you couldn't actually, you know, jump up that high. I didn't mean Two near misses. Bye. All right, time for one last ride. Oh my gosh, look at all of that money. <laughs> Some of those checkpoints drop a lot of money. Now we just gotta make sure we don't die. Which is gonna be harder. Because we are forced to let all these birders go free. Oh my gosh! Those birders almost knocked me off a bottomless pit. No! Are you fur- Freaking serious! Why did it not let me land on that dirt block? Why did it not let me land on the dirt block? Because at this point, the game's just spitting on me. That's why. I had it! Also, I've just about had it with the game right now. Josh! Jah! 
everything's getting in my way! Even the controller is getting in my way. With all of these non ghost inputs, I think is the word. It's not eating my inputs, it's doing the opposite of that. It's saying I'm inputting stuff when I'm not. I knew I was going to regret combining the speedrun with the deathless run. Like, I knew I was going to regret doing that. But I still chose to do it anyways. So I really don't have anyone to blame but myself. Now those are some tight jumps, if I do say so myself. cycle, yes. I'm not sure if it's possible to first cycle that one. If it is, that is precise as all get out. Literally, so precise you'll want to get out. Probably should have grabbed the Thanksgiving turkey, but that's fine. There's another one before Mole Knight. And the danger in this room is not from taking damage, it's from instantly dying by being thrown into the lava or a bottomless pit. Please, did tell me we spawned the birdos off screen. Please tell me we despawned the birders. No! Nothing in the world will despawn the birders. Okay, we're not destroying the first block this time. There we go. Alright, here's Mole Knight. Wow! Looking fabulous. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Boo! Get, get Mole Knight out of here. Yeah, it's true. I do like the main as well. Oh no, but because we got the extra point of HP, it's going to take longer to die in Shield Knight's Dream. I don't think we need six points of HP for the next world, though, because... The next three levels, your main danger is not running out of health, it's just falling it down bottomless pits. Or hitting spikes, so... Not really worried about that. Okay, let's try to get hit by the potions, if we at all can. Because those deal extra damage. Oh no! <gasps> hey, Inputs, welcome! Uh, no, you actually showed up at the end of the stream. We are literally just about to finish. Yay! We got a coupon for a free meal at the Burger King. Oh, 
Oh, we also have the forced battles over here. We're gonna have to fight Black Knight and possibly Phantom Striker. Okay, but before we do anything else, we gotta go back to the main menu, because if we end the stream there, it will count up towards our total time. So, I was really hoping that that speedrun would go a bit better, but unfortunately we have to break it up into two streams, which is not great. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. But I, I'm glad everybody joined in, and hopefully we all had some good times and some bad times. Hope, I hope we didn't have bad times, but I would not be surprised if we did now. Ooh, okay, folks. It's been a while since we raided someone, but we will be raiding someone tonight. Uh, Persephone D uh, Demeter, she is, a, I believe, playing Majora's Mask. Yeah, she's playing Majora's Mask, so if we want to pop over and say hi to her stream, I want to start trying to raid people again, so... I guess if you're on YouTube, then, well, nothing's about to happen, but if you're on Twitch, you can join in, and we can wish her welcome, so. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This was a fun stream, even if it got pretty bad at certain parts. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your night, and God bless everybody.